hot sauce guitar kitchen. Wood burning. What's up with this light? Your cat was up with this light. <laughs> You gotta hire a, a, a lightsmith. Look, you got all that shatter right there. All right, we'll press forward. Uh, hot sauce guitar kitchen. Yo, look, this is the back of the Noah's Ark box build. Dig. So this came from the dollar, the Dollar Tree. The, but price times are tough. It's a dollar twenty-five now. But whatever. So I glued him on here, but this is going to go in the back. But this is just glued on here, so I have an idea of doing stuff today with the wood burning. Have you ever uh, wood burnt anyone? Have you ever been burnt by, by someone? <laughs> have you ever burnt anyone? <laughs> wood burning. I'm babysitting this one this week. The lighthouse build, the lighthouse headstock guitar look. Let me turn these lights off real quick. You can see, look, isn't that cool? Again, this little thing came from the uh, Dollar Twenty Five store, Dollar Tree. That's just a force in her bit, and that happened to fit it. I didn't really plan for this to go in here. Originally, I just planned for this to not even be in here. Look, that's how I, I originally made it, just to have a hole in there, just because I thought it'd be cool. But this came with this lighthouse thing right here. We went to the Dollar Tree this, this summer. And um, so it's just, again, so then it just happens to fit in here. So I love it, dude. I just, you know, I love it when a plan comes together. So I was, I'm babysitting this one. And what I mean by that is I'll build these and um, let them sit for a while. And the little takeaway right here is, is when you build your cigar box guitars, or if you receive one from any, any number of builders, there's a chance that your frets will start, like this one here is, will start getting like, Argh. and you'll start yelling, hack work, hack work. It's not hack work, dude. I mean, it could be hack work, but um, uh, remember, if we're using just oddball wood, just wood scraps, which is sort of the nature of what's going on here, your, your wood is going to expand and contract. And so maybe when you got it on here, it was built in the winter. And you spend all day long, all, you know, you're going 80 and 120 and 220. Then you go millennium grit, 1,000 grit, whatever, 3,000, 2,000, 8 bazillion grit sandpaper, right? And you're working it. And then all of a sudden you pull it off the shelf one day and you're like, ah, dude, you just got to re-sand it. Don't be afraid of, of sanding these things down. Now, if you got some, like, build from some builder who's, like, charged you $5 million, he's a master craftsman and you're all, like, treating it like a, you know, like a $5,000 Fender Stratocaster and you're afraid to sand it, well, that's on you, dude. Cigar boxing for a living. Get you some sandpaper out. Start sanding, dude. Sand it away. Sand the, sand the floor. Remember sand the floor? Wipe on, wax on, wax off. Sand the floor. So I'm, go I'm going to um, just sand this down a little bit. And I'm tempted to either stain or spray paint this neck um, black. But I'm not going to, but I'm tempted to. Anyways, fret work. Uh, before we get started with wood burning. And yo, if it gets noisy here in a minute, that's because the girls, well, my little one's out of school today. And so we've invited her friends to come over. So if you've ever had three nine-year-olds together, all right. Wood burning. Today's objective is to quickly and methodically and not waste your time, wood burn some things into these, to the um, Noah's Ark build. Um, some comments. I've got three of these, dude. And I'm not sure what I'm doing wrong, whatever, but they sell these things, these wood burners, with like all these little tips. But at some point, all these, I don't know, dude, what's, what's the deal with this is, but at some point, all these tips hey. will, like, break. What are you guys doing out here? I got, I got three of these now. I got all these Hey, what are you doing out here? Here, right? To do uh, all this dazzling <laughs> wood burning, but they keep breaking inside of here.
So I think my new technique is gonna be like, just like, here's the age for the hot sauce guitar kitchen. I try to stamp that on there, right? It's hot sauce. This one right here, you can't, I can't get that out of there. I'll try drilling it out. I was gonna drill it and whatever. So this right here, just, this is where I'm doing like the uh, Gretsch guitar inspired neoclassical thumb, thumb inlays where it's pretty much like a half a moon. So this idea came from Gretsch. They do those on there, see that? So it's like a half moon. Oh, another thing too, this reminded me of, you know what I'm thinking about doing? What, whenever you're doing fret work, ask yourself this one thing. What would Yngwie Malmsteen do? Bro, I'm gonna start, I'm gonna do scallop frets here soon. Woo! But I'm gonna do scallop frets and burning them in. Woo! What happened? <laughs> I just love that idea, dude. So, <laughs> scallop frets burned. Cause what would Yngwie Malmsteen do, dude? All hot sauce guitar kitchen builds. This is this this one right here. Build 119. It's over there. Noah's Ark. Check out the dimensions for Noah's Ark. It's interesting how this is is like almost like a mini rep, replica of it in a way. Seahorse. Why? Because I love seahorses, dude. They're just cool. Um, all hot. So this is this is 119. Are you reading Psalm 119? The Aleph through the Tav. Oh, wait, here, I'll show you right here, look. Um, now, remember, we are Gentiles. So Gentiles are reading more of the Greek. So we're, what, how, how many Greek letters are? I've never studied the Greek yet. I was fascinated by this. The Aleph through the Tav, right? Am I getting this? I can't even see. Okay, I can't see that, but, we'll get, but you get the idea. So the 22 letters of the Hebrew alphabet. Psalm 119, if you read it, at the, at the heading of, of the individual sections, you'll see Aleph, and then there's eight lines. I think it's eight lines. Anyways, are you reading Psalm 119? All hot sauce guitar kitchens get the word tension burns into the side of the neck where you won't see it. See, like when you're playing it, you know, you don't have to worry about staring at it and be like, whatever. But um, all of life, why we put that on there? Because all of life, you got to learn to live in the tension. If you're too highly strung, you're, str you're going to pop. You're going to snap, dude. You know what I'm saying? Um, if you're too loosely uh, strung and you're all slack, and you, you won't make any noise. So you've got to learn, as I've had to learn, how to live in the tension and actually find joy in the tension. Hot Sauce Guitar Kitchen is learning how to find joy in the tension. So we're going to take one of these. It's probably this one. Again, I'm gonna just gonna like get these three or maybe buy new ones and just figure out the main ones I use and just leave them on here instead of trying to like take them on and off. So tension's gonna be over here, build 119, tension. Then we've discussed doing the position markers with uh, this one, the one that I can't drill that out. You see that, dude? And then with the tension, we're going to put the position markers. Now, I've done the thing here, dude, where you, too, where you take a little drill bit and you can screw in here and then take, like, toothpicks or um, little dowel rods and, like, you know, tap them in or you can use nails or whatever. But, you know, this right here, I keep this simple. So I just burn these in here. So we'll write tension with this. Turn around. We'll go pop, 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 pop for the position markers. Uh, I always like to put Revelation 2220. Revelation, this one's gonna cover, I gotta fix that. I put Revelation 2220 on all the bottom of the builds, wood burnt in there. Why? It's the last thing in your, in your, in your, in your Bible, if you have a red letter Bible, it's the last thing that Jesus says to all of mankind. Everybody, every nation, everyone. And it's, he said it's been echoing through the last 2,000 years, dude. Remember, uh, 24, 24 hours in a day. The 24 elders, if you read uh, the book of Revelation, who sit around the throne and take off their crowns. Um, tw Matthew 24, the day of the Lord. 
I don't know. I was, I've been tripping on the, the number 24 lately, and it's the year 2024. Curious. Also going to burn in with this one, the build number. This is going to be 119, as I've said. Excited about that. Um, and again, that corresponds, when you start building these a lot, if you're into it, if you get a, a hot sauce cigar box guitar build and that number on there, that number means um, not to be whatever. I've built more, I've built a lot more. I'm not to like 200 some, because I did like 50, 50 or 60 before I started numbering these. But that's when I was just buying next. This is, again, if this is just exciting for me, build 119, that means I've hand fretted 119 of these which I think is just, I think it's cool, dude. I, again, I've never done something over and 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 over, other than washing dishes <laughs> that, uh, that I find joy in and satisfaction in. It's just cool, you know, as far as consistency and keeping going. So if you've never fretted, go to CB Giddy, get that fretting kit, get the fretting guide, get the fretting information, and dude, start fretting. Don't be afraid. My fretting kit sat for a year on this very shelf before I even did it. So 119, we're going to put that in here with this one. I, I believe that's it. The number, the position markers, the position markers, tension, hand stamp, and then stamp in the H, Hot Sauce Guitar Kitchen. Revelation. If you're lukewarm, he'll spit you out. He'll, I would rather that you are hot. Or cold you know why it says cold I don't know why it says you're cold it wasn't explained but if you're in the kitchen you know if if things if you want to save meats and stuff you you freeze it so things that are arctically cold can be thawed out and reused and if you're too hot you know what I'm saying if, sometimes you could be too hot dude you know then be kind of obnoxious I don't know anything about that and while I'm thinking about it we try to uh, jam pack these episodes full of uh, tasty information. I haven't figured out yet what I'm going to do with the uh, bridge retainer right here. I said bridge retainer. I don't know. String retainer. This is the one I'm, I might use. You would use these. I know this is about wood burning, dude, but it's just, you know, I'm thinking about, you got to think about lots of different stuff. You can use lots of different things to do here. If I was going to put a pickup in here, like in a magnetic pickup, and I wanted to use electric metal strings, they had to be grounded. So you need to use a metal bridge here to do that. Or you're just doing it for art's sake. This one, I'm thinking about doing this one in nylon, which means, which means you don't have to ground. And so I love this. If you don't have one of these, dude, you got to get one. Uh, we're all, those of us who know the power of this, we, it's not in tune, dude. We, uh, we don't understand the science of why this thing sounds so good. It's just, the Canadians got this jammed. Godine or Seagull, I just, that's why we love these things. Uh, another side note, dude over at Music Go Round, uh, he told me that he actually fretted this whole thing. He finished the whole fret out. I might do that. <laughs> to this thing can jam. I love these. I love building cigar box guitars, but none of them sound as good as this thing does. Here's why I say all that. Because I'm thinking about doing this number. Look, you can put you can put two strings in one hole. So you can do three three holes, but if I do a six string over here, I can deal three holes <clears throat> and have them come out. And this technique is what I'm thinking about doing with this guy. <clears throat> this guy. These and this came from Habitat for Humanity. So if you have a Habitat for Humanity near where you live, go hit them up, dude. These are these um, these pop rivets, and these are big ones. These are stainless steel ones, dude, and they're big. So what you do, pretty much do is you pop this part out, and then you use this part right here, like I'm a number one. Look, stars and bars, you can do this technique. Put them on the front, put them on the back, and dude, 
This is why when I see these, I buy a bazillion of them because it reminds this is this guitar was made out of love from one brother to another brother from Philadelphia. You know what Philadelphia means, don't you? The city of brotherly love. See, you know, the, the love just flows. But I've only got I've only got six of these. So that's the exact number of this. So now I'm thinking about doing this in here, but I did get this big giant gangster bag of uh, Habitat for Humanity. Look at this, just a bunch of them. Just a gazillion of them. If you need some of these, uh, hit me up and I'll send you some. I know, I know, I know. Get to your point, dude. So let's get busy. We're gonna rock some hot sauce guitar kitchen tunes on the background. Um, and we're just going to get busy here. Wood burning, wood burning, wood burning, wood burning, wood burning, wood burning. Tension pegs should be here. According to the violin place I ordered them from, should be here by tomorrow. And then we're gonna get, then this thing is gonna start coming to life. We're gonna do the, do the, uh, the tension pegs then tomorrow. All right, so let's do this.
we're going to take this outside and sand this. Um, as a side note, Hot Sauce Guitar Kitchen is dedicated to health. See? Red potatoes, red uh, peppers, onion, garlic, beef chunks, beef bone broth that was uh, rendered from a, a legit beef bone. Uh, so we really want to focus on health and eating healthily here in the kitchen. We want to, we're into seahorses and um, Captain. All right. I, I, Murdoch. Hey. Okay, what is he doing? Oh, okay. He's, <laughs> he's babysitting. All right. Hey, come here for a minute, please. Captain. All right, all right, all right, all right come, on. come on. Come here for a minute. Yo, what's with the donuts, dude? <laughs> I can't take it, bro. Listen. Low power mode. Are you listening to anything I have to say? Yo, I can't have donuts, don't you know? I'm trying to encourage the Hot Sauce Guitar Kitchen fan base to eat healthily. You gotta come up in here with 12 donuts? I can't take it, dude. All right, let's go. Okay. Oh boy. Uh-huh. Yeah, all right, do you go do your thing. All right, anyways, at any, anyways, I don't, I don't have to eat those donuts. No, I didn't eat three of those last night at two in the morning. Did I say that on camera? I'm not supposed to say the, the quiet part out loud. One hour into babysitting, three little girls out of school for the day. I'm not sure why this is here or what it's supposed to do, but I believe my objective is to not step on it as I go to the bathroom. But I'm not really sure what this is. to your question is yes you could do this as a three string bass or a three string baritone because this is a 26 inch scale however I'm planning on doing this as a uh, six string or three string double course gut string or nylon string baroque guitar the end, dude, look, the end of the ocean. But boom, that came out cool, dude. That was just like one of these things that just, I knew this box was long and I knew I had one of these. So here's the original color, stained it. Well, first of all, glued this to here. This is a Noah's Ark themed, boat themed, ocean themed imagery here. So look, this little part kind of came up when I was sanding it. So look, took the wood burner, traced it around with the wood burner, and then uh, sanded it flush, because this is going to be in the back, you know, facing your body. But look, that came up cool, dude. I didn't plan that. It just looks sweet. Look. Oh. All right. So wood burning. This episode was about wood burning primarily, but do dig. 
Because sometimes ideas kind of flow as you're doing different stuff. Uh, babysitting three little girls on their on their day off of school. All right, girls, let's come in. So check it. It's too this cold to sit. Is it raining I'm using out bass there? strings right now. Ugh. No, we're not sitting in the cold the rain. Tuners. Everyone's gonna get sick. Let's go. Dude, technically speaking, I Thank could you. do this Please. with a bass guitar, and I would just. This yeah, is plenty sit, of space let's, let's to do bass the, to do bass tuners. Rain. I might have to chill on the uh, on the friction peg thing right now, but we'll see. But anyways, I use these old bass strings to mock this up. So look, uh, this thing is long, dude. Oh, look, boom. So they came right through here, sweet. And they're gonna go through here. And this won't be a real pain to get off. Like when you put this right here to change the strings, you'll do this. You can fall off on me. So you'll put this on here like this. Son of a... So this would be the back. And this will open up. I had the hinges for it. So that would be the back of it. And then... <laughs> this is weird doing it like on camera. Please don't fall off. Okay, so that that's going to be sort of the scale length. 26 inch. So, but right here, I use those big rivets. Because I'm going to put two strings coming out of each one of those. And then I have the... Uh, the bone nut so but at this place if you did get this and you wanted to convert this from a six string slash three string slash double coursed nylon guitar or a friction peg at this place right here you could pop out those friction pegs because there will be small holes and then just um, put in uh, bass strings but anyways, this is going to be, eventually this is going to be two, four, six. So anyways, this, this is coming out cool, man. And then we're going to leave sort of like this hobo feel up here. And just these oddball um, J-A-T right there. So that's where we're at right now. Everything's been, our, everything's been wood burnt. So we'll press forward. We're waiting for the... I think I got it all mocked up on here, holding this down there, so. Cool. All right, that's it. Have a nice day. And look at this, dude. I was trying to default, I was trying to default hamburgers the other day. You know when your hamburgers, when they start stacking, they're frozen together. I was trying to get them apart, so. I'm hoping to glue this before my wife knows anything happened. This is like her mom's like ancient, ancient thing here, dude. So I'm gonna have to glue this. And then I'll put it back up there and I'll just act like nothing ever happened. See? I gotta find the right, I gotta find the right glue for this, but I'm glad it, it broke in like three, three giant pieces. All right. Laters. Remember, hot sauce, cigar box, guitar kitchen. I know everyone's kind of over the, the red pill, blue pill thing, but go to eBay. I've got a bunch of builds up there. Make me an offer, dude. Find one that you like, make an offer. And then uh, hit me up. The process 66 at Gmail. The process. Did you dig it? Keep oil in your lamps, my friends. Watch and pray. Ooh. Remember when we mounted the mini tube screamer into the flying V? Remember this? Got the flying V, and we put the mini, the miniature tube screamer in there, like right in here. Like that. Ooh, I found this on the cheap at Music Go Round. So don't think there's not space in here to mount this inside of this box. I've often thought it would be cool to have these little miniature pedals, and all you do is you hack wire a nine volt battery to go in here. And actually I have the nine volt battery uh, thing here, look. We put like a nine volt right here, and there's plenty of space in here to do this, dude. Boom. You could put that inside of the box and then come out of the output of here, and then this is an acoustic. Dude, this is like 20 bucks. I love it, man. 
and then you'd use this as your tone and volume knobs or, or have a built-in, like you can put this up top, but embed it inside of here. Don't, don't get me started. I can't, I can't go there right now, Mr. Seahorse. But look at this. And it has like level and body. You know, if an EMP goes off, this is all whatever. So I, <laughs> I build these. So if an EMP goes off and we got to go back to the Stone Age, all you do is pop this right here out, dude. And then you're just, you know, as you see in, uh, as you see in uh, um, paratroopers, you know, falling out of the sky, you just pop this right here out, dude. Go to your hot sauce guitar doomsday bunker, bro. And this bug out, and while you're bugging out, dude, you just play the cigar box guitars. They come in the house, and dude, it's all good. Cigar box guitars for you, cigar box guitars for me. Just keep on, keep on keeping on. <laughs> Says Chantel, Chantel. Oh, what am I doing? Don't turn, don't turn the camera on, bro. I'm gonna go back up here and check on my people. Make sure it hasn't turned into the Lord of the Flies. All right, everybody.